right near the port of Tacoma this morning. This is where that crash happened, and you can still see the aftermath on the road this morning. That white powder substance you see there after the semi truck gets out of the way, that's what they use to clean oil off the road. And troopers are asking for anyone who saw the crash and anyone who may have dash cam video to help them out with their investigation this morning. They're specifically calling for Tesla drivers who may have video but not know how to access it to come forward because they may be able to help you get that footage for their investigation. Again, six people are dead. One more has critical injuries. And those are just the people traveling in one of the cars, a gray Kia. The other car was a white BMW. We're told the two people in that car were injured and also taken to the hospital. WSP said it was a hard scene to respond to. They're calling it an incident of magnitude. We understand that, you know, we have a job to do to support the families that are involved because we want to make sure that we do a, a thorough and complete report for them so that they, they know and understand why it is that a family member of theirs is deceased today. So in the latest incident report, WSP says the BMW was driving northbound on State Route 509 when they hit the gray Kia in the intersection. The Kia was going east on Alexander. Troopers say the Kia went up in flames. At last check, troopers still hadn't confirmed which direction had the green light at the time. We know at least five of the Kia passengers were ID'd as Arizona residents. They all range in between the ages of 19 to 25, and we still don't know this morning if anybody was buckled in. The Kia was carrying seven people, and it's a five-seater car. Washington State Patrol asks if you can help to please reach out to their investigations team. For now, reporting live in Tacoma, Taylor Winkle, Fox 13 News.